Hey, hey, everybody, it's Jeff from Cackle Hatchery. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about some tips today when you get your baby chicks from Cackle Hatchery. Uh, they arrive in boxes kind of like this, or they might be bigger. Uh, our main topic today, though, is making sure you get your baby chicks off to a good start. Uh, there's a big difference between hatching out baby chicks at home under a hen or an incubator versus getting mail order chicks, okay? Chicks that have hatched at a hatchery uh, or the chicks that go to feed stores, uh, you know, they've been through two days of, of transit. So they have lost some body mass, they've been stressed, and they require a lot, lot more heat on arrival than let's say you're taking some chicks out of your incubator, okay? So there's a big difference on how you want to start your baby chicks out uh, when you're getting a mail order uh, baby chicks uh, through the mail. So we uh, say that you have to have, in order to have success, uh, you need a brooder reflector lamp, something like this one. It's got a guard that you take off and put on it so if it ever happens to drop, it won't start a fire. Uh, these are relatively cheap and you can pick these up anywhere. Uh, we really recommend to have a, uh, a red bulb. You can have a light uh, bulb if you want to, but these will put out the, uh, and warm the air around the chicks, not only warm the chicks, but warm the air around the chicks. Uh, we usually recommend 125 watt for every 25 chicks. And then of course they gotta have a lot of room to get away from the heat. Uh, but uh, you want about 100 to 105 degrees at the floor level for the baby chicks. So uh, when they arrive, their body temperature is, is low and they don't have it in them to raise their body temperature up. So their normal temperature is around 104. So you've got to figure out and artificially warm their bodies up to that temperature so they'll start getting active, starting to eat and drink. So that's real important. So mail order chicks require a lot more heat than if you're taking chicks out of your brooder or out from underneath your hen. If you have a GQF, these are really good brooders too for mail order chicks. Uh, it has a, a heating element in here that heats up really hot and uh, it's got a thermostat on it. And so, you know, if all your chicks are huddled right here, they're too cold. If the chicks are kind of sleeping around this area, they're just right. If all your chicks are way up to the front of the brooder, then it's too hot and you need to lower the temperature. So as your chicks grow, they're gonna take less and less temperature. Now, after five, generally more like seven to 10 days, you want to try to figure out a heat source that does not produce a light, okay? So we want to get your chicks off of having 24-7 light. So this is where these come in handy. Uh, after seven to 10 days, um, you know, you can install one of these for the chicks. Uh, I've got several different brands here. There's other brands. I'm not trying to leave out any other brands. It's just that these heat plates do not heat the air and they're a lower temperature uh, and they don't produce a light. So that's good later on, but you cannot use these on arrival for baby chicks. Um, I mean, I'm, you, you can have success, but you've gotten really lucky if you have in the past. So uh, these are more for chicks after, uh, you know, like I said, seven to 10 days for mail order chicks. If you've got an incubator at home and you're hatching your chicks out, you can probably have success with these. Uh, but we got one brand here. There's another uh, brand. Basically, again, it's a heat plate that does not produce a heat source that heats the air. So, but there's several different brands here. So the theme of this short video is for male or chicks, we're not talking about when you're hatching at home, we're talking about when you are ordering chicks through the mail, day old baby chicks, you cannot start them off with a heat plate like these, okay? They have to have, you know, a good heat source that's gonna heat the air around them. And uh, so that's uh, the, the theme of this uh, 
video, and we uh, thank you for listening. This is Jeff at Cackle Hatchery. Hope you have a blessed week.